Hey guys, welcome to part two of my horror movies, Blu-ray and DVDs. Uh, what movies I own on Blu-ray and DVD? Um, this one, I don't have all three, but I'm going to be talking about the very first three horror movies that I have ever seen. Introduced the horror movie, I was introduced to horror movies by my twin sister. And those three movies were Nightmare on Elm Street, Saw, and Quarantine. Not the original wreck, Quarantine, but Quarantine. I do not have the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise on Blu-ray or DVD. But I got the franchise of Saw on Blu-ray and Digital HD. But unfortunately, I do not have the digital. That's the ultraviolet, which that's stupid because they expire easily. I personally like the movies anyway, anywhere. Okay, the fair things I like from these, um, of course, the quotes is game over. I want to play a game. Or in the second one, um, Jigsaw changes it and says, I want to play a game. That one he changes. But I still like it anyway. Okay, um, well... The movie I remember most is the second one, you know, with the gas house, the, you know, the needle pit. That one I remember most because it scares me the most. I do not own Jigsaw yet. I actually never watched Jigsaw yet, supposedly the last one, although these were supposed to be the even though Saw the final chapter was supposed to be the last one, but no, it's not. Um, Jigsaw, no, Spiral, I mean, Spiral is the last. I'm guessing it's a remake, I don't know. Um, I hadn't seen that one yet. Maybe if it's on Paramount Plus, I don't know. If it is, I'll watch it. But yeah, the second one. Which I just mentioned that one I remember most and it's the it's basically I remember the most because it's it scared me the most back then and the needle pill the needle pit still speak still spooks me out because I really hate needles yeah. and quarantine Okay, I watched this once and I didn't watch it for years. Um, when I realized that there was an original version, I watched it on YouTube and then it led me to watching this on YouTube. And then I realized there was more than one, so I watched the scenes of that. Not just random scenes, but it was the full movie, but just split. So I actually saw them all. And well, the ending of course is still a jump scare. And there's still a few jumps, but the original version, yes, it's actually more intense. It's, it's more intense. As for Nightmare on Elm Street, um, I would have to say my favorite one is the first one. Um, it it's it scared me the most back then. Um, it's hard to remember the other ones. I think I actually agree with my sister on this one that the baby one is kind of stupid. Um, the Dream Fighters one. Um. The only thing I remember out of that one is the cartoon dream. And this one guy, um, I don't know. Maybe if I watch it again, I would be sure of 
what I like and what I don't like about the Dream Fighter one. And Freddy's Dead, you know, the final one. Um, uh, see, I just know that the first one I liked the most because it actually scared, it scared me the most back then. And this, well, I guess you could say unique one, unique things about it. Usually the first movies are the, like, the best. And, whew. Yeah, the dream one, the dream fighters, the cartoon death is, like, the most memorable. The, basically my favorite. I remember it the most. It's, the, like, the most unique death. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, but even though I kind of don't watch it because it freaks me out, like, if I watch it, especially all of them in a row, even though I can't help it if I see it on TV, I watch them all in a row, and yet at night, I do get Freddy Nightmares. But you just can't help it if there's a marathon of Nightmare on Elm Street, you just can't resist. I just wish that if they're going to have a marathon of that, at least play Jason vs. Freddy, that one. Even though my sister thinks that one is stupid too, but I like it because of course some movies got to have a collaboration like uh, Lake Placid vs. Anaconda's it, Anaconda's vs. Lake Placid. Most movie, most franchises have to have a collaboration. Like it's, it just makes it entertaining. I don't know. It just makes you think this is a finale. Although, uh, Anaconda versus Lake Placid, it was a finale. Well, for Anacondas, not for Lake Placid, there was Lake Placid Legacy, but for Lake Anacondas, hmm, I don't know, for me, when, me, when I get some education about script writing and all that, maybe there could be a continuation about those crop. Crococondas, maybe. I can't be sure because I'm pretty sure by then it would be impossible. Guess it just depends. Well, there it goes about the first three horror movies I ever seen in my life, which obviously traumatized me from horror movies for quite quite a while until I started watching horror movies with shark snakes and crocs and then I just went to horror movies <laughs> along with all the other movies I watch but me comparing to my twin I am drawn to any horror movie that interests me unlike her she doesn't she tries to stay away from the old classic horror movies like she has not watched the exorcist the exorcist yeah i have but not her <sighs> i do like i me now well for a while now i try to open myself to as many movies as possible like almost like just about almost as many movies as possible <sighs> If I can get a hold of the movies and like shark horror movies, uh, so far, according to my research of what how many shark movies are out there, especially horror ones, there are like a hundred and five. I looked up two days ago, technically listed, and um. I probably watched 
supposed to have, probably have. I didn't count yet. Thanks for watching. See you for part three of my horror DVD and Blu-rays. Bye.